Dry shaft is fixed. She's all drivable now. But as you see the rear wheel is too far ahead. We got to get those differential clamps that hold it to the leaf springs before we can do any stunts with it this weekend. Too bad I didn't know earlier. Oh well. Well, we're ready for the uh, see if we can save the transport van's life. The frame fell off, of course. Got my diesel generator since we're so far from the building. This was a handy spot to roll it over, so that's how I'm going to power my welder. We got lawnmower blades because they're made of spring seal, so that makes the best frame repairs. We might as well fix Oh, yeah, we're going to do a little patch there, too. Yeah. And, <laughs> there, see, you see, um, um, um. <laughs> that piece is supposed to be attached to that piece, but. It's so thin, you can't even weld something to it. See, it's paper thin. So my idea is to grind this off here, get a couple welding, I mean lawnmower blades to weld to, and weld them across here, bridge them across. Then they have a large area just to flex and bend. And since they're spring steel, they won't likely form a crack in any particular place, so long as we You know, do it like that so the hole isn't in the middle. Should actually maybe weld another one here. Yeah, I'm thinking of putting one there too. Yeah. You know, we, we might have to make a few patches. We might put one here yeah, and box it in. Box it in. Then <laughs> there's not much to weld to here, and this is a yeah. pretty floppy. <laughs> so I'm thinking, take the torch and cut this little bent elbow off. And the only part up here that's strong is the bumper shock strut support. So grind this off, which is easy to do when you can abuse your vehicle. And weld a chain to here, and then weld the chain to a little piece of plate, and weld it to here. That'll give us a flexible joint there, but keep this held up. As you can see, there's not much to weld to there either. Frame's going bad there, frame's going bad there. Well, oh, she's still good. She now you know why General Motors went bankrupt. <laughs> they make vehicles that can kill you. Yeah, and they keep a flywheel open. Fucking, how yeah, stupid is that? Nothing wrong with that. There was a plastic cover there, but it just fell off. That's not a big deal. The one good advantage for joyriding these things is they have flat oil pans and flat, tr flat <laughs> transmission pans, unlike Chrysler's. So they take a lot of scuffing without getting jabbed or ripped off. That's awesome. And, as we all know, the steering column got yanked out of the rack, and I thought it was yanked out down here in the hard to repair spot. Turns out it was yanked out inside of the car, under the dash, and it was just a slip joint. So this guy from Windsor did it for me. Slip joint king. Slip joint king. Slip joint Jim. <laughs> <laughs> and fat Phil. Yep. Yeah, fat Phil. So, oh, and uh, yeah. Oh, new name. Uh, rape him, rick him. Yeah, rape, rape him, rick him. Raper. <laughs> yeah, rape him, rick him, the raper. Yeah, yeah. As soon as his, her boyfriend left, she freaked out when you walked towards her. <laughs> it was hilarious. And we didn't have it on cameras, we didn't know. I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, it's getting dark. The sun has set. It's going to pour rain tomorrow, which is Saturday, which I think is the 25th of July. So now we got to do this stuff real quick. Fire that diesel up, Rick. Just, I'll just give her a yank. Diesel. Throttle. That's how I power my welder. Moonlight Madness Revisited 2009. <laughs> Stuff is going to rain and there's no moon. That sucks. Oh, the harmony. Synchronized grinding. <laughs> sickening. Put your hand on his back. Absolutely oh, sickening. Right on his head. Now, if that ain't Moonlight Madness, what the hell is? 
testicle piculars. Time to weld. Start the generator. What a night. Destruction and debris. No, actually we're just doing repairs. This is the safest and easiest way to work on these things. So, got some lawnmower blades welded to the frame. Now I have to put a bend here and a bend here and weld everything here. Makes a good flexible frame mount. And then do this one. Steering columns in. We'll be ready to roll. Life does come after death sweet. So the transport's almost done. A bit of redneck frame reconstruction. Down here where the frame is broke, a piece of lawnmower blade welded in. It's made of spring steel, not likely to break again, and thicker than the original frame. Up here, two pieces of lawnmower blade welded to a sturdy spot on the frame. A little zig bent in the metal on both blades, galvanized ground off to weld to, and when I set the frame back down with the full weight of the body on it, that gap will be closed and this gap will be closed, and then I can weld it upside down. Since the front mount was unattached, welded a chain to this end, cleaned the metal off with, I cleaned the rust off the metal first, went all the way around the housing that supports the bumper strut, which is the strongest point in the front end. I just sort of got it tied there by hand, but once all the weight's on and this pushes over, got a nice clean spot there to weld the chain to, so I pulled the slack out of it. Got the steering column in, now I just got to give her a yank and flip her over and hope we can get the job done. Alright, let's see if she dries for the first time since the defect. Come on. Not bad for laying on its side for a couple days. A little bit of smoke. Oh well, it's to be expected. And she's off. Sweet. Still smoking. <coughs> oh, now I'm underneath this pig, but I just got done welding. So I had the frame held up with the jack. And those blades are welded to the frame now. Perfect. Subframe to body. Now for a real test drive. Well, she's all done now. I took her for a drive, then I got caught in a thunderstorm. Well, the thunderstorm moved away about an hour ago, and there's what the tail end of a mature thunderstorm looks like. Sweet. Fan is as good as it was before the frame was busted off the vehicle. <laughs>